I'd say, like, fish people, they're at the bottom. Yeah, but they keep to themselves. People who have birds are like, look at my bird. (laughs) Are they? Yeah, they're (laughs) definitely like that. You can't go to a bird person's house and not have them not explain their bird to you. A bird person? Yes. Um, I don't know. I think, well, I know someone who is a bird person. Okay. And she has, I think at least like, at least a bird, okay. maybe two birds. <laughs> at least a bird. And um, I think uh, it's it's weird to me because I, what I think of what a bird person would be, she's not like that. I would think <laughs> of like a bird person as kind of like pretty docile person. Right. She is not docile at all. Do I know her? Yes. Okay. Um. But it's just, like, when you meet certain people, and they're like, oh, I'm into this kind of animal. Or, like, this is, like, the pet that I have. Then you're like, okay, that makes sense. But I, I'd i say dog and cat people are, they have to be the same. S-tier? S-tier people? Probably, like, S-tier people. Yeah. Dog people will swear that they're S-tier and that cat people are oh, yeah. A-tier. It's just, I think it's both both the ways like yeah anybody everyone a, yeah. yeah everyone will think the opposite we're s tier you're below us it's like dodgers <laughs> and angels <laughs> yeah. they're always gonna say like you're the better one obviously um but <laughs> let's look at the chart oh, no. um i don't know i think because i think dog and cat people it's just they're just different people yeah definitely so there's really no way to tell but at the same it's it's sort of like they're like how people i've seen um pictures of where it's like uh, like boob guys and ass guys right. and they're like shaking hands and then it's like they look over and they see like guys who are into thighs personality guys and they're like oh hey what's up <laughs> and then they, the other guy walks in and he's like foot fetish guy yeah and I've seen like, that meme before it's like that it's like <laughs> everyone's cool with each other until the fish people come in and you're like fucking fish people fucking fish people <laughs> yeah. even the bird people are like like the cat and dog people aren't cool with the bird people, but they're better, they're closer to the bird people than the fish people. Fair enough, I guess. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Where do reptiles fall, like in general? Reptiles, I think, are one of those, are, they don't, they don't fall into the, they're like the cool loner. Okay. That everyone respects, (laughs) but everyone also thinks is kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're, it's more that they're afraid of the reptile people. Fair enough, I guess. Like, I'd rather be friends with a reptile person than like a... Someone who has an insect as a pet. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to say an insect as a pet. Well, oh, yeah, because I was thinking, I have, like, I had, I'm not a friend. I had a co-worker that had a spider. Like farm. <laughs> no, like, had, yeah, she had spiders. Like, a collection of spiders. Oh, like, she okay. had, like, a wall of spiders that she had. That's cool, like, though. Is it? I think that's cool. They weren't, like, tarantulas, though. They were, like, huntsman spiders and, like, black widows. Like I still think that's cool. I don't know. But, all, well, I mean, I mean, different I, strokes for different folks. I guess. But I think it's cool. Spiders also aren't insects. They're arachnids. Fair enough. See, it'd be different if someone was like... <laughs> I think we could both agree. If someone was like, look at my ant farm. You'd be like, oh, look at my ant farm. <laughs> yeah, fucking cool nerd and knock that shit over. I Well, that's the thing. Well, I, I know you don't. I know you like spiders too. But I don't mind spiders, but it's. I it, like it, spiders. It's um, I don't know. I don't. I don't see any benefit or any anything at all as having them as a pet. Like I could see one having in your house. Obviously, you don't mess with it or you move it it's out of mutual, the house. Or, a mutual yeah, mutual agreement. agreement. But you kill like, all the bugs I actually hate, and I'll let you live. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, all right, I'm down. But like having it as a pet, it just seems kind of like tedious. Yeah. I I kind of see that with, like, I get how that it's similar to, like, having a fish or um, even a bird. Like, you, I've seen people, like, that have birds. They'll take their birds out and they pet them and they, like, you know, they they interact with them. Like, yeah. you, don't inter- you don't interact with a fish. Like, it'll interact with you, maybe, where it'll come up. I've seen videos of, like, the fish, like, kind of coming up to, the like, the top of the water. Yeah. It's, like, that's cool. Like, it you know there's some sort of connection there and it's not just like some basically a rock right but it's the same thing with spiders like you would see a spider 
and like, I just have a spider collection, like they're my pets, and you're like, those are basically rocks yeah. that, you, <laughs> that you feed. <laughs> but I think to me, I understand that at least, but I like spiders. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind having, because yeah, like you said, a tarantula, like, tarantula, you could, it's you take it yeah, out. it's something you could take out and yeah. like enjoy. If you have any, like, any of the other tiered spiders, yeah. you're just like, they're in the cage. This is my they daddy have to stay long there. pet. And you're like, that's not a pet. That's a daddy long leg that's in a container. That's not a pet. But, yeah, I think insect collections are... Um, the only reason, like, I didn't give her shit for it, like, having spiders as pets, is because she was going to school to study bugs and insects and what have you. You know what I mean? That makes sense, then. So that's the only reason I never gave her shit. She has I was, like a general I, interest in yeah, it. Yeah, she has a general interest in it, but I'm not going over to see her spiders. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, just... and you're not asking about, like, yeah. hey, how's fucking Billy doing? But it's just... I, I think it's weird when... Uh, which I'm sure is perfectly normal mm. and is probably true, but it's weird when people who have pets who are basically rocks... And they have these personalities, like they're like the spider is fucking. He's kind of wild, and you're like, he's a spider. I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl, bro. <laughs> and it's a spider. Um. Yeah, I think cat and dog people are the ones who just look at everyone else like they're, like they're fucking crazy. And uh, I think underrated is the. Reptile people. Reptile people, yeah. Reptile people are definitely the ones who are looking at the tier list, and they're like, who cares? Man? Yeah. They're all fucking idiots anyway. And they have their fucking cool-ass iguanas or chameleons or some other baller-ass shit. You don't see anyone who's like... You either see people who are weird, but like interesting, and you're they're not like trying to be weird and creepy. They're just like genuinely weird. Or they're like... Ballers. <laughs> they or they're money. baller weird they're like drug yeah. dealers yeah, yeah. like drug dealers are like dude I have a fucking big ass snake in a in a, a whole thing right here and you're like why yeah, and he's I... like some guy I sold <laughs> some stuff to this guy and he didn't have enough so he gave me a snake I knew a snake. I knew two drug dealers that had crazy pets one one of them had a uh, tree in the corner of his house it was an art- artificial tree and it wrapped all the way around the perimeter of his living room and kitchen. Mm-hmm. And um, he had a bow constrictor that would just slither Jesus across it. Christ. Then, like, just live its life up there and then come down and eat in the front of the living room. And uh, I had another another one that uh, had a wall knocked down in his house and replaced with an entire fish tank with 12 piranhas. <laughs> 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 my piranhas. Yeah, check this out. And he yeah. throw a mouse in there, like a full grown mouse in there, and it just rip them apart. You're like, that would have died in there anyway. Yeah. If, you just, if you had just thrown a mouse into the water, it would have died. But it's I what, guess that's cool. Yeah, piranhas, like at least give it a fighting are chance. Fucking no weird thing to have as a pet. They don't belong here. Piranhas. Yeah, piranhas. <laughs> piranhas are definitely a weird flex kind of pet because uh, they just are. And yeah, you're right. They don't belong here. <laughs> I, the thing is, there's certain pets. I think if you had them, people would be more like, "Why do you have this?" Instead of like, "That's fucking cool." Like a shark. <laughs> you had a shark. You're like, "Check out my fucking shark tank," and they're like, "Why the fuck do you have a shark?" I think, I think my uncle had said, because I, I was with my uncle at the time, and uh, I think he had said, "What are you, some kind of evil villain?" <laughs> He's like, "Yeah." Yeah, pretty much. Fuck with me, I'm gonna feed you to my piranhas. He's like, I'm a drug dealer. <laughs> and he's like, oh, that's right. That, like a drug Thought dealer... you were a nice guy, though. A drug dealer is like a small-time... Evil villain? villain. Evil villain, <laughs> I yeah. never thought about it that way. He basically <laughs> is. Like, if I think if I was, um... To get into, like, you know, pretty moderate drug... De- like, if I was drug dealing to where that was my mo- main source of income... Yeah. Then... I would have I would definitely have some piranhas, maybe a shark, a little white cat that I keep on my on my <laughs> on my lap all the time, you know? My mom used to have a friend that she it was one of her coworkers that she used to hang out with that lived in like I don't know, like down here or something. And uh I remember going over to her house with my mom 
and uh, looking into the backyard and not seeing like really a backyard. And uh, my mom's friend goes up to me and goes, you can't go out there. My spider monkey's out there. <laughs> and I go, you're, you're like, <laughs> never going out there ever. I'm never going outside ever again. <laughs> and she turned on the patio light and the entire backyard was enclosed with a cage. And the spider monkey was just swinging like on like ropes inside that of the cage. That is a nightmare. And I go, whoa. She goes, yeah, he's an asshole. Don't go out there. If you get too close, she likes to grab you and like shake you. <laughs> any any like if anyone is like, like ape or anything. yeah any sort of ape type thing if someone's like it's my pet i'm not getting near that because first of all i had a funny name i don't remember what it was though monkeys freak me out yeah. because monkeys are way too close to humans because it's like imagine you're like you go to like some some person's house and they're like oh just be careful if you're gonna go to the backyard uh my pet's out there and you're like okay i'm just gonna go smoke a cigarette they're like yeah yeah just just so you know and then you go out and you light your cigarette and then you just see some like just some a humanoid human <laughs> no just like a guy in a collar and he's just like walking on all fours and you're like what the fuck <laughs> and you go hey yo there's some guy just sitting like that's my pet that's not a pet that's like a grown ass man his name's Edgar yeah it's like you even gave him like a human name. That's even, that's even weirder. <laughs> like you could, like you could, you couldn't even call him like buttons or some like pet name. And he's like, that's just his name. His name's Edgar. Oh, he's a human already. Like monkeys, just that's why monkeys <laughs> freak me out. Monkeys are too, they're too human to, in like I feel like if I saw a monkey, I'd be like, dude, we're so you're almost here, dog. Like you're. Fucking, but then what if he was looking at me and he's like, you're almost here. <laughs> <laughs> they peel their bananas upside down. Dude, do you think about this? Where are we? Like, they almost took, they, they took over the world in like four movies. Yeah, you're right. It's crazy. That is crazy, man. It's crazy seeing, um, like, mocap actors where they have, like, oh, yeah. little dots on their face. Because it's, it's, it's funny when you see them doing like the mocap where they actually have the, the mocap on their face that matters because they're like they'll have this super famous actor or this like really good actor right and they'll have them being a monkey in a movie and it seems ridiculous it seems stupid but then um the way they shoot it i'm assuming the way they shoot it the way they shoot it and the way they like animate it and stuff it actually matters if they're a good actor because that's basically their face just kind of being transformed into a monkey or yeah. like whatever animal it is. It's crazy to me because like that technology existed. Though obviously it wasn't like fine tuned, but it existed in like the late nineties, early two thousand. Yeah. I mean, you could see in like the old NBA games how they like yeah. pasted the faces onto the polygon characters. Well, and they were very humanoid faces. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 trippy to see stuff like that where they're. They have, um, like, these really good actors being these, essentially, just all animated. Right. So you see them, like, behind the scenes, it looks ridiculous because they're just in, like, warp suits with dots on their face. And they're being really serious and acting, but there's nothing around them. They're just, like, in a warehouse and <clears throat> they're in warp suits. But then it, it uh, like, when they turn it into what it's going to be... It looks really good, and right. it actually, like, kind of transfers over really well because they, when you see, like, just an animated monkey, they, it, like, it looks like, oh my gosh, the fucking monkey looks so intense, and it's actually because of all the mocap and all that stuff. But what's ridiculous to me is seeing people doing mocap for animals and just like not acting. So they're just kind of taking the place of what, like, like if there was, like, a movie where someone's, like, sitting and they have, like, a lion that's supposed to come oh, up to them. Oh, okay. And they have someone who's mean. in a mocap suit and they're just kind of, like... Yeah, the first thing that pops in my mind is the, the raptors from the Jurassic Park or yeah, Jurassic World. Just, like, oh, it's weird when they don't have a costume and it's just a mocap actor, but they're not acting, so they don't have the mocap on their face. They're just wearing, like, a green suit. Yeah, just a green suit and, like, pretending to be fucking... Like, <laughs> Another good thing. one that I, I liked in the same vein as that... As the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, where they had just a guy in green sitting with uh, Batista, 
<laughs> yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> like, it's just, like, how could you, like, uh, just being, uh, like, a mocap actor, and you're essentially someone, you're essentially taking the place of something that another actor has to be interacting with. Right. So, but it's not you that's acting. And that's just super weird, because you're basically a stump that can move around and interact yeah. with things and for people to interact with you and it's just super weird also on kind of the opposite side but similar is uh people who are really good actors or who are like famous but are covered up or something like in v for vendetta I think okay it's, yeah i think it's hugo weaving that plays v yeah and he's a really good actor he was, uh, if it's him, which <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's him. He's uh, the fucking agents in The Matrix. Right. Really good actor. Pretty intense dude. He was in Lord of the Rings. I'm just now remembering, too. If it's, if it's him, <laughs> I could be, could be wrong about all of these. Flip it a coin. The entire movie, he's wearing a mask. So it doesn't matter what he's, how he's acting. So he has to like, kind of like overact yeah. how he's moving and all this, all this body. But it's just kind of like, you're, you're going to be doing this, but you're going to be wearing a mask the entire time. Right. Michael Myers, wearing a mask. <laughs> Leatherface, mask. a mask. A leather one. Uh, do you think Leatherface's mask is actually leather, like the actor's mask? Or do you think it's made of latex? I think it's made of people. It's <laughs> yeah? like leather, yeah, I guess. <laughs> um... Th- it probably gets hot wearing people, huh? Anyway. Got some thick skin. <laughs> Speaking of uh, having thick skin, yeah. <laughs> I do not have thick skin. Uh, in the sense of, not because like, I have all these cuts on my hands. Don't me, man. But in the sense of... Uh, <laughs> in the sense of being really short-tempered oh I think you're too sensitive uh, well I guess so I guess I'm still that's why it's weird saying I'm not like emotional because mm. I am I'm super emotional hyper emotional but that one emotion is angry it's true it's like if something happens I don't, I don't I don't cry I don't freak out I don't, you throw things I get mad really mad um but uh I did Instacart today and uh, I tried Instacart for the first time. Never again. That's what it felt like. Yeah, it was. It was just so like. Um, it, the thing is, I had. I'd never done it, and I thought, I'm just gonna take a big order. Right. And just feel like from beginning to end, it was just. Just the, like the worst things that could have happened, <laughs> happened. It's bothering me. So, I'll do it later. Okay. Um, so I, I got an order. It was a double order. So I had two. I had two different orders to fill. From the same store. Yes. Okay. And so this is the first time I had ever done it. So all at once, I had to figure out how to use the app, like how to do it. I had to figure out. A store I didn't, I wasn't familiar with, and then a bunch of other bullshit. So I went to Walmart. I never shop at Walmart for groceries. I don't know why, but I was like super confused in like the produce area and the grocery area. I didn't know where anything was. Right. I didn't know how the app worked. So as I was going through, I'm like trying to find stuff. And you have to weigh out fucking dumbass tomatoes. And then it has pictures. I'm like, I don't know where this thing is, this specific thing, but it's like, oh, just fucking salary. You just need salary. It doesn't need to be dole salary, just salary. <laughs> and so I was going through, I wasted so much time. I had to find fucking dumbass pita bread. And I spent, eventually, like, I got the hang of it near the end. I, like I said, I had two orders. So it was maybe like 40 different things, like unique items. Um, 
it, I, I had to find pasta. It told me pasta was in by the frozen pizzas. And I was like, that's weird, frozen pasta, but maybe that's a thing. <laughs> and then I was looking around, and I was like, I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Maybe I should check the pasta section. I went to the pasta, and it was there, because why wouldn't it yeah, be there? Yeah. But it told me frozen pizza and pasta. Whatever. <laughs> so eventually, I get, all the, I get everything done. It takes me way longer than I thought it was going to be, just because I don't know Walmart's layout. Right any of that stuff and I'm trying to figure out the app as I'm doing it right so I'm like you know what I'm just gonna go self checkout I've been to self checkout with produce before so I know you have to put in a little like right. find it and then weigh it whatever um and then I realized one of the people one person <laughs> they, on one of the orders they bought one bottle of wine so I'm like now I have to wait in line <laughs> so now I can't self checkout I go I wait in line and then someone's like, this fucking weird little, just weird dude. Weird. That's the only thing I, like fucking fish, like look at my pet fish and pet ant form. Weird dude. Was like, I could take you. I'm like, oh my God. So I go over and I'm like, I have, I'm doing Instacart. I have two different orders, which is basically cancer in my ears because I hear that at work. Yeah. Time. And they're like, I have Instacart. I'm like, well, you go? yeah, it's fine. Same shit. So I put everything up. I separate it. Put the first order, put the second order. I'm like trying to figure out how to pay as I'm doing it. Right. I pay for the first order, and he starts scanning the second order, and I look, and he doesn't have anything bagged. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I look down at the other registers. There's no bags. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, can, where can I buy bags? What do I do? And he's like, he goes, the entire store is out of bags. I'm like, what do you mean the whole store is out of bags? And I didn't even get produce bags because I was it's like, whatever. I'll just yeah. put him in the fucking. There's no bags in the entire store. So now he's grabbing the next or I told him too. I'm like, I have two different orders. And he's like, okay. And he starts scanning it and just mixing it in with the other. And I'm like, okay. And I start grabbing everything and trying to sort it like last second. I pay again and I leave. And I'm like, this is the worst thing. Like, this is just, I do not want to do this ever again this is the worst fucking thing and i walk to the front actually when i first got into walmart i walked in i was i had seen like a couple carts outside i'm like okay whatever i'm just gonna go inside go to the cart corral grab a cart and i walk in there's no carts and there's a huge queue of people waiting for just carts. looking around yeah and just there's like, a bunch of carts just in the middle of the parking lot too just like yeah. no one's using them yeah, and so I'm like, this is stupid, and I can't go back through the entrance. You have to go all the way. So I start going all the way to the exit. I just happen to find a cart sitting there, and there's like this guy just like I guess working the exit, and I go, can I take this cart? And he goes, whatever. And I'm like, <laughs> like, like he said it like it's like it's your funeral. Like if okay, whatever, and I take the cart. Are you sure you want that cart? Yeah. That's a COVID cart. Yeah. So he's like, some Mexicans were touching. Like, <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah, I'll take it. And uh That's when I started shopping, but afterward I go outside, I go through the exit, I'm parked on the far end, like the opposite end, because I have to exit on the other end of the store. So I have to go all the way through, across the entire length of the store. But now I have a bunch of just loose groceries in my car and I have to keep them separated and not on the floor or anything I'm just because I don't want them to see it and be like, why the fuck is my quiche on the floor <laughs> of the car, bro? I have my beef steak tomatoes sitting on the floor. So I separate everything in the back seat. <clears throat> I'm like dripping sweat because it's fucking hot and I'm like angry. I have angry, angry sweat. Set? So I separate everything and I'm like, you know what? I just want to get this over with. This is this is the worst thing ever. And I put the directions in to go to this person's house. And it's by Rose Hills. So like up where okay. the mill. Right. So as I start going, I miss I missed the turn because I was I was I was <laughs> I, I missed it because I was actually trying as I was driving, I started to like cool off. Yeah. I turned the air on, literally and figuratively. I turned the air on and like my car was cooling down. Um, so I'd driven from Pico to like Whittier. Right. Um, so my car was cool and I was thinking like, you know what? I might've been overreacting back there. It's not that bad. It's just, you know, now I'm kind of getting prepared. Like I was kind of trying to 
like rationalize it. Right. Kind of, maybe I was a little emotional back there. They had us in the first half. So we're going to clutch it in the end. Yeah. And that's when I missed my, my turn. And I was like, <laughs> oh, this is the worst. And then I looked at my phone and I didn't have reception where I was. So it wasn't rerouting or anything. And I just, there was like no one around. So I just hit a big U turn. Yeah. Super illegal or not illegal. Uh, there's like a, a cop. He's like, fuck. We almost got him. So I turn back around find the like uh the turn and i go up it's they're like oh drive down this like long driveway so i go down and i get out and i tell them i'm like there's I'm like look there's i had no there's no bags in the whole store i just have your groceries right here like it's you know whatever and it was like this like cu- this like white couple in their like 40s late 40s yeah and this guy came up this is like big dude with a beard and he was like super cool. And he's like, yeah, don't worry about it. Let me go inside and grab some bags. So I went inside, got, and was holding them while I was like loading them into okay. the thing. He was super cool. I got into my car and was like trying to go through the app. Like, okay, confirm, confirm, confirm. And it's like, you need to scan their ID. And I'm like, oh, I just <laughs> told them bye. <laughs> and I got back out, I had to bug them again. They were super cool though, super nice. And right. I was like, you know what? Maybe things are like that. <laughs> oh, <bad."> no. <laughs> and then it was like, okay, go to deliver to your next deliver the other order and then as i was driving there was no reception so i didn't know where to go so i just went out and drove out onto the street and i drove like the entire length of the cemetery right and was driving for like five minutes was just looking at my phone just waiting for a waiting bar. for something <laughs> yeah waiting for something to come up and i'm thinking i'm like oh, i'm just gonna steal these groceries bro <laughs> i said like shit i don't even want pulp free orange juice get the fuck out of here why am i what am i a baby <laughs> what, a child? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. what am i a fucking child <laughs> getting pulp free orange juice <sighs> anyway so i keep driving eventually i get a i get a signal and it's like turn left and i'm in the far right lane i'm like all right cool <laughs> so this, this here is we go again gonna, yeah this is how it's gonna be so i make a fucking big circle Go up, and then realize it's in uh, apartments where I have to park and somehow carry all their groceries in my arms through a coded door to the... They're like, oh, I'm in the far back behind the pool. So luckily I had a bag in my car and I had my DoorDash bag. Oh, okay, okay. I filled it with just all their fucking stupid bullshit. They're like, can I have the bag? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, thanks. And they took my bag and I'm like, have a good day. Um, so I went, delivered it, and, uh, I went back to my car. I parked far, too. There was no parking. And, uh, I, I was, like, driving home. I think, I'm like, okay. It, it was, like, two and a half hours, and I made, like, 33 bucks. <laughs> which isn't bad. It's just, I, the thing is, it was just Good. that, uh, I think... I was I had spent too much time at Walmart. Right, right, right. It was a lot of learning and it was like a lot of time wasted. So I knew that it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it was just unknown territory. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was completely unknown in every aspect. Right. So I thought it was just, you know, maybe it wasn't that bad. It was two and a half hours for thirty bucks. It's not that bad. If I would have done it better if I knew what I was doing, maybe like under two hours. Right. Thirty bucks over 30 bucks in under two hours it's not that bad and as I was driving back home I was like maybe I, maybe I could try going somewhere I know um, or maybe a smaller order something like that smaller store you think? yeah so as I was driving back home I saw one for Aldi and I know Aldi like the back of my hand and it shows like a little preview of some of the of some of the items that are um What's happening? Someone's just killing their family? That's a weird time to kill your family, like at 5 p.m. <laughs> I, like, I'm not experienced in killing my family, obviously, if they're still alive. But, like, if I was going to kill my family... It wouldn't be at, like, 5 p.m. It would probably be pretty late. Like 11.30 in the morning? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. When, like, if you murder were seems pay- like a nighttime thing. Right? 
<laughs> yeah, it does. Night activity. Just you hashtag. Day murderer? <laughs> yeah. What are you like? Even night murderers or like yeah, daytime murderers? They're like, really, bro? You're that's a fucking, fucked up. You're dude. an animal, dude. <laughs> Killing people during the day when people are out doing things at In and Out. We, they could have been at In and Out right now, bro, and you're fucking here cutting their head off <laughs> in the middle of the day. <laughs> could have been walking their dogs at a park. They could have been feeding their spiders right now. And you're here killing them, cutting their heads off. Anyway, I was driving back home and I saw one for Aldi in Arcadia. Yeah. And I thought, that's basically like, it's point, it's it's me going home anyway. Right. So I would have to go in that direction, a little past home. It was like $12 or something that I'd make. But I knew the items showed, it shows like some of the items. I saw them and I thought I could do this. It's super easy. I shouldn't. I, I shouldn't let that discourage me. I took it. I did the order, and as I was driving up, three minutes after taking it, I thought, "Why did I do that? I, hate this. <laughs> I, hate, I don't even want to do. That. I just want to go home and like not do anything." And I canceled it. This is my second order, and I canceled my second order. And then um, I got home and I was, or I went to Seven Eleven. And I thought, okay, I made thirty-three dollars. I'm gonna get some beer because I haven't been drinking that much. But I, I just really want a couple beers, just kind of relax because I was stressful and I was super angry a little while ago. I just want a couple beers, and I just made thirty-three bucks. Right. So it's not that bad. It's like free beer. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, so I went, bought it, went home, and I was, I, I was like, okay, now I need to figure out how to cash out the money that I made to put it into my card because I just bought some beer. And then it's like, if you're a first time driver, you have to do at least five orders before you can cash out. And I went, <laughs> all right, cool. Let's. Uh, and I just started drinking, and I thought, okay, well. Maybe I'll just stick doing So you did that. So you didn't even get paid for your order. No. And you won't get paid for your order. Not until you do that, four more deliveries. No, I think if I do four more deliveries, or after three days. Okay. Okay. So, so by, auto, it auto sends you. The yeah. Money. If I to to immediately cash it out, I have to do. If it's my first time, mm. I have to um, do at a minimum of five. Okay. So if I would have just stopped being a crybaby, I could have just done it, but. I was too busy being a crybaby. It's crazy how, like, absinthe exists. Like, in general, or? <laughs> yeah, it's just <laughs> fucking, it tastes pretty wild. But, um, I like this stuff. Absinthe? I feel like absinthe is, uh, just one of those... I think it's one of those drinks that it's it's almost like acid because people who have never tried who, who have never tried it always think it's way more than it actually is okay I get what you mean because people who have never drank absinthe they're like does it make you hallucinate does it make you go bananas and you're like, no, it's alcohol. <laughs> it's, this, <laughs> it's the same thing as drinking alcohol. It's just stronger. You drink, just drink less of it. It's the same. It's like people are like, do you, when you drop acid, do you like hallucinate? Do you like, go crazy? bananas? Do you go bananas? <laughs> and you're like, a hundred percent. Do you go bananas? A hundred percent. It's your favorite part. It's going bananas. Yeah. That's also a, a quote from. Some other, some other like small town, <laughs> s- small channel uh, podcasters, Tom Segura and Bert Kreischer. Yeah, that'd be cool having them on. I don't know if they fit. I don't know if they fit in the chair. chair. <laughs> 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 Why don't sit on that side? Yeah, we'd have to get some a couple double decker chairs for the boys. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Like high chairs. Yeah. Like baby high chairs? I hate that. Going to like a like a restaurant or a bar and then they, they have you on like like chairs that you can't I I always I can always read actually speaking of which Tom Segura Tom, if you would like to talk about it, um 
he had a joke about not or going to the doctor's office and don't being swinging his legs. Yeah, yeah I know being the, like the only place where he his feet don't touch the ground. And I I just went somewhere recently, and sat up on like I was outside. And uh, sat on a chair, where I like no matter how I sat, I couldn't reach the floor because the chairs were just super high. And I'm not short. Like, I, I there's no there's I can always. I'm always touching. Did it the floor, not have bro. a pole at all either? No, it had it had the pole. Okay. But it was just it was just one of those chairs that yeah. it, it brought you up where you could you couldn't touch even if you were sitting, if you weren't sitting all the way back because I tried kind of doing that like cool sit where you kind of <laughs> just put one leg up and you're like <laughs> whatever. But it's like it was a fucking super high up chair, yeah. and I just hated it. I hated every second of it. And then also where I was seated, uh, my chair was not level so it's kind of like <laughs> it's kind of like this like where it's kind of i was just... an emergency to you though that's my the worst thing or one of the things i hate when sitting at like bar stools at bars is when they're not flat and you sit down and you have, they have that uneven leg that tilts backwards you think you're gonna fall yeah, every time <laughs> yeah. so you're talking to someone and you're like yeah work's been pretty cr- crazy yeah. sorry for that um i also had a uh a pickleback shot how's you had a that? shot how's that man it's absinthe. It's strong. Yeah, I like it. Makes your tongue numb. Anyway. Yeah, I don't like shots. I don't like taking shots, but um, it was something that I would have never put together, but kind of made sense when I thought about it. Well, the other one made more sense. There was a... It was a... Um, Jameson and um like peanut butter something or other i don't know if it was i didn't order it but i was like that kind of makes sense like whiskey and like jameson and peanut butter kind of makes sense to me okay but then it was like jameson and pickle juice and i thought that doesn't make sense to me but yeah i'll try it out i didn't buy it it was bought for me okay and i took the shot of jameson and then took the pickle shot and i was it's just it just tastes like I drank <laughs> like, like a shot of Jameson and then a shot of pickle juice. Like, yeah, there wasn't really anything to it. Um, <laughs> it's supposed to be just be a chaser, right? Yeah, it's just a chaser. So it's not supposed to taste good or anything. No, it, the thing is, with things like that, it's supposed to. I uh, just depending on what it, there's supposed to be some sort of connection. Okay. I, I think what what I got from it wasn't that there was that they tasted good together it was more that they the pickle juice was so strong it's just vinegar like basically just salt and vinegar yeah that it when you took the shot of jameson and you took the pickle juice yeah the pickle juice was so strong that it just knocked the jameson out yeah it's yeah it, no it's a chaser yeah exactly but not just like the way because the thing is you could get like a shot of whiskey and then chase it with like coca-cola or like soda and it actually it mixes yeah it mixes yeah. it it, it complements it it's just that you have something that's strong and then mixing it with <laughs> or chasing it with something that's so much more strong that it, it just kind of kills out that right 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 that first thing it sounds like a a shot mixture that's meant for someone who doesn't take shots yeah you know what I mean yeah exactly that's kind of what it was I guess supposed to be it's also super expensive, but <laughs> I didn't pay for it. I was gonna say, at least you didn't pay for it. Yeah, but um, I think the only time it's not even a shot. I mean, I, I chugged the entire pint of beer, but I did a was it an Irish car bomb, where you get the uh, where you kill someone. No, oh. um, <laughs> where you get a um, fuck. What is it? Is it a Jaeger? Yeah, I think right. it's Jaeger and like a uh, some kind of ale, and you drop it in, you pound the whole beer. Jaeger and Guinness? Like, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I'd I'm be... assuming it's that. Because <laughs> Irish, Guinness? You know? I don't know. I might, I might even have the wrong cocktail in mind. But I, that's all I remember is a pint of beer, a shot, dropping in and pounding, knocking the whole beer back. And I did that like five times. <laughs> Every night, huh? For, no, it was... For like six years. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Six <laughs> years. <laughs> that's what I meant. Anyway... Right. I remember that was a really fun night though. It was just me and one of my homies from fucking my old job, and we just like 
let's go to the bar. I'm fucking feeling super, like, Sad. drinking. Oh. And he was like, sure, man, what bar do you want to go to? And he's like, I know this little hole-in-the-wall bar. And it was a hole-in-the-wall bar called the Frog Pond over in, uh, I don't even know what fucking city it is. It might be uh, La Habra, it might be La Mirada, it might be Whittier. It's in that weird little corner. Yeah. And he goes, we'll kick it, I'll buy you some beers, we'll play pool all fucking night until they close. And that's what we did. It, sounds, it actually sounds super cool and I wish I could do that now yeah. especially since everything's closed <laughs> um fuck it be like that I wanna go to the theme park I haven't been to the theme park in so fucking long I know I actually that's a I had seen a video of um someone being on a on a roller coaster I don't even like roller coasters and I thought I wanted to do that uh, I, roller coasters are one of those things where it's cool by itself if you like the roller coaster it's way better if you're in really good company, though. You know what I mean? Experience yeah. the whole thing as a group. You can't be sad on a roller coaster. It's right? less that and, like, just going with, like, one other person or two other people. I think it's weird. If you go in a group of, like, six, five, six, seven, above that, it's fun. It's a good time. It's like a group. Could you imagine going anywhere with, like, 20 people? I don't, I don't know 20 people. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know 20 people. You know 20 people. I feel like you know 20 people. You know, know 20 people. I know a lot of people. But I also wouldn't necessarily, like, it'd be like, hey, let's all go to this. I don't know. I feel like I could invite, like, if I invited everyone I knew to, like, have a party, it'd be cool. Everyone would be. It'd be an old school, high school rager, if you know what I mean. I don't know no. what you mean. No. No. Um. But, uh, I think, uh, like going to an amusement park is definitely one of those things where you, um, where you'd want a bigger group of people, but I don't, I don't, I don't like amusement park or I, I like amusement parks. I don't like roller coasters. I don't know why. I just don't like them, but I've been wanting to go <clears throat> on a roller coaster. I think the last time I went on a roller coaster, it was like three or four years ago Knott's Scary Farm no I went to I went to Knott's Berry Farm never heard of it yeah it's it's, <laughs> it's kind of it's like Knott's Scary Farm but during the day Ew. um it's not gross it's not sweaty yeah it was pretty hot and I went and it was it was fun I I remember going on different rides and thinking like you know what Roller coasters are pretty fun. Like, this is actually, like, I'm having a good time until I went on Supreme Scream. Supreme Scream's just full, full stop, not fun. Yeah, it's it do- not. It doesn't, like, that stomach feeling is not cool. Yeah, it's not <laughs> it's just fun. That's why, like, I went all the way up and I'm like, ah, I can see my dad's drop from here. And then I just drop. Uh, being up there is cool. Like, yeah, sitting up there is fucking cool. Is yeah. Cool. But I can do that on the Sky Tower where it I just can, rotates yeah, and comes out just, slowly. Yeah, you can look and be like, wow, look at all that. Yeah, it's the same thing with. Um, they have a, like a, subscre- a Supreme Screen esque ride at uh, Magic Mountain, too. Mm-hmm. And it, it goes up. It's the Lex Luthor ride. Yeah. yeah. And it's way taller. And it, like, it tricks you into, like, a sense of security at the top. And it does it suddenly and scares the hell out of you when it falls like there's a whole like voice line that happens at the top of the ride and sometimes they're just like and you are, and they'll drop the ride <laughs> so it's like there's a monologue yeah there's a full monologue at the top that they'll just cut off and they'll drop you <laughs> that's one thing that i've always thought was in like in my head it seemed fun is to be one of those operators. Oh, yeah, definitely. But until you see the people doing it, they're like, they look miserable. They look as miserable as me at a grocery store. Yeah, the only time they'll see that if, is like if it's at a, a carnival and they own the carnival. <laughs> yeah, just because it's it, it's like having a, like how people do um, like Halloween and then they have like, yeah. like a haunted kind of thing and they're like in their yard. Like, that seems fun because you're the one in control of it. And you decided to do it. Not just because, like, oh, I got a job at... I got a job at fucking Magic Mountain. That's so cool. That's so crazy. And then you go there and then you realize it's just a job. It's not fun. Nothing's fun. Nothing matters. There's no such thing as magic. Going to Disneyland, you go see people at Disneyland, they're not happy. They're sweaty. (laughs) 
So the, the little Mexican people that are these are small enough to fit into the certain character costumes. That's crazy. I remember going to going to Disney blasted out of my mind, and uh, going <laughs> going and seeing. I think we went to like Tomorrowland. It was when Tomorrowland was still a thing, and uh, I went to a I had crazy dry mouth. And I was like, I need a water right fucking now. And I went to get a cold water from a guy or a, a short little girl that uh, was working like the uh, vet, like the what are they called? The little kiosk with like the the drinks and like the ice chests. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And uh, I was like, can I have a water, please? And she goes, sure, just the water. That's all you want. I go, that's it. She goes, I don't know, like ten dollars or some yeah, shit. Yeah, it'll be forty five dollars. She doesn't go for the ice bucket. She like steps on something or something like that happens. And a water bottle comes flying out of the fucking, like, the machine she's sitting in front of. <laughs> and goes up there, she catches it and hands it to me. And I went, <laughs> what the fuck? Don't act like you didn't <laughs> just do that. What if what if it was, like, in a glass bottle? She goes, think fast. And she shoots it up. And if you don't catch it, then that's it. Like, it just shatters. You want to try again? It's another $10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd be like, fuck yeah. <laughs> You're like, 50 bucks and just watch her shoot it up and let it smash on the floor. <laughs> yeah. I'd go to Disneyland every just for that. Day. Just well, here's the kicker. Just to like glass. Fucking, <laughs> so she, I'd be like, ah, look, and then there's like just water and glass areas. So kids are slipping. Try to and add a couple of them. Yeah, <laughs> just wa- like let it go up in the air and then jump and kick it so it flies across the fucking park. Anyway, but I I went back there since that time. They don't do that anymore, and they stopped doing that. And I, I like for the life of me, I couldn't find even like a remnants of the machine that she was using or the thing that she was standing in front of. So it's a, it's like a myth to me at this point. Like, I, like I could tell people that this happened mm-hmm. and I won't be able to prove it because I can't find any proof of it. <laughs> Just the, the foot powered. I don't know. Whatever. Well, yeah. I don't even know what you would call it. Rocket that. water. Rocket. Yeah. Foot powered rocket water. It was like, made to the, it was next to the, was it pizza port? I don't know. That's, I, I had the worst pizza I've ever had there too. Really? Yeah. It was a, uh, it was a pastrami pizza. Oh, yeah. And I was like, I'm stoned. Fuck it. Let me try this pizza. And I got it. And I go, can I have one slice of, of the pastrami pizza, please? And they go, sure, no problem. She went, <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> they, 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 they boxed it up for me. And I went around and I stood at the register and I was, I asked the lady that was at the register for a soda and she gave me a cup. I'm like, cool. And the lady came back uh, around the other lady that I got the pizza from and she gave the cashier the uh, pizza. And I was like, cool. I got it, and I got my drink, filled it up, I sat down, I opened it up, she put mustard on the fucking pizza, uh, like as a dressing, <laughs> it yeah. was like, I was cool with it, she was like, it doesn't have mustard on it, I'm gonna put mustard on it for you, yeah. you're gonna love this. Pastrami without mustard? <laughs> That's like pizza without sauce, baby. I don't, I, I, I don't know what, <laughs> recently, like, you're just tapping into some part of my brain. Uh. Uh, I'd seen oh oh that's what it was I was at work and uh, occasionally we'll get uh, these things in um, in the freezer called okay. spots and okay. uh, it's basically non core items so it's non it's not items that we carry all the time um, so we have like our the wall freezer and then we have separate like sliding freeze like if you go to the liquor store or something right. it has a big slider door right 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 um, we have a set of those, and uh, all that shit is just filled with stuff that we that we don't carry regularly. Okay. So sometimes it'll be stuff that we'll carry for a few months. Sometimes it'll be stuff that we just carry. Like they'll send us two cases of it, and that's it. Right. So it just kind of rotates in, and now we have to merchandise it all. Yeah, I know what you mean. Whatever. So there was a time where <laughs> there. Uh, <coughs> I had, I was the one doing freezer, so I had a pallet of just spots stuff that I had to merchandise in. Right, right. Oh, this fucking beer is making me burp. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a bunch of shit I had to merchandise in. I had to move a bunch of stuff around. And I was just kind of, you have to kind of make it make sense to where it's like if you have bags of fruit, like frozen fruit or um, ice cream you know, pasta, whatever. So I had gotten in uh, a bunch of pizza, and we had, like, a section that's, like, pizza and then, like, snacks. And right. Stuff. 
So I think we had gotten like bacon cheeseburger pizza. <laughs> and the thing is, I'm 27. Okay. Just a few years, like just thinking like 10 years ago. Yeah. When I was 17. To me, it doesn't, it still doesn't feel that long ago. Yeah. But looking at, when I saw that, bacon cheeseburger pizza <laughs> I was like I'm an adult now because <laughs> this this does not seem appealing this seems unhealthy and like unethical honestly to be able to sell people I, I saw it and I was like I should, try, I should throw this in the trash <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, we should, like we should not be selling this to people because I, I it's just I looked at it it was just regular pizza they had ground beef and bacon on top. And I, for whatever reason, because I, I, was, I was doing this instead of working, I was just staring at it and thinking... Having all those thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> like, having ground beef on a pizza isn't weird. It's the same thing as having... I, I, like in my Yeah, it's... Well, it's... In my head, it's the same thing as having, like, sausage pizza. Yeah, meatballs. Yeah, it's the same thing. You just have, it's just, instead of pork, it's beef. Right. It's the same thing. And then having bacon on a pizza also isn't that weird. Okay. But for whatever reason. The combination of the just, two. Just having it, like, presented as a bacon cheeseburger pizza. Mm-hmm. Maybe if it, I don't want to buy this. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that, that made me think. And now we have other, because we have other pizzas that we sell. And it's like, you think of pizza, like sausage, pepperoni, this, right. that, whatever. Right. If you're a fucking weird mutant freak, pineapple, sure. If you want to, you could show it to your spider and fish collection and be like, look at my pineapple pizza. And they'll do nothing. Yeah, because they're basically rocks. It's just seeing the, seeing it as... Like a bacon cheese, like what, what we could put a bacon cheeseburger on a pizza. <laughs> it's the same people who thought we could put hot dogs in crusts. You ever think <laughs> of that? <laughs> it's like we have a big issue. <laughs> people are leaving their crust behind. Okay, well, what if we fill it with something that everyone loves? <laughs> hot dogs <laughs> like I I remember like we grew up in a period of time where they start putting shit on crust of pizza do you think about that <laughs> like cheese crust like the stuffed crust pizza you're like alright that's cool that's alright cheese you, yeah sure because it, it's like if you, it's already on the pizza because it's basically a thing already it's just <laughs> yeah. you get people will order just a cheese pizza right I think like I just want Cheese, bread, and sauce. That's it. And you know what? People look at you and think, you're a goddamn genius. <laughs> because that's all That's all pizza is. It's just the crust. It's just bread, all right. cheese, sauce. All right. That's all you really need. And then people will add some meats onto it. There's nothing wrong with that, right? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with adding... A little more. A little more. Then some fucking weird freak was like, what if we put pineapple? Guys, <laughs> hear me out. Pineapple. And thankfully, everyone, general consensus, you're fucking weird for putting pineapple on a pizza. That's fine. If you like pineapple on pizza, that's fine. Just understand you're a weird fucking freak. Yeah. Like that's all. <laughs> there's, there's no way around it. Right. There's no way around. I, cause first of all, personally, I don't. When I, whenever I eat my my like personal palate, yeah. I don't always incorporate sweet stuff because people will be like, "Fucking, you know, it Raven has, likes to." Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. Raven, okay. Raven likes to eat. Hawaiian burgers that bothers me Raymond does everything that bothers me <laughs> okay fair enough continue <laughs> Raymond is basic you know like in, in the dark night where uh, the Joker says that he's like an agent of chaos yeah that's Raymond well fair enough 
but not nearly as cool. His palate is an agent of chaos. His fucking weird tongue and weird flat feet and weird hands and anyway, we'll have Raymond on and we'll kill. You know what? We'll have Raymond on next time, and he'll explain his side of things. Okay, I'm cool with that. Um, but <laughs> I'm so flustered from all this, <laughs> from all this pizza talk. I like having for for me having a dish or like something that I'm gonna eat. Um, having something or something being sweet doesn't necessarily have to be a part of it. All right. So some for some people are like, oh, it's savory, it's sweet, it's salty, it's this, it's that, and it's like I understand it sometimes, but uh, sweet to me doesn't always mean like if something's I I prefer having something that's savory and salty, and I understand when something's sweet that's incorporated into it where people have like honey pizza. Or, like, pizza that's, like, right. super salty, and they have something sweet to kind of take the edge off all that, like, fatty, salty... Right. Kind of, I understand it. And when I eat it, it does taste good. But it's never, like, you know, this needs some fucking honey. Yeah. Or this needs something sweet. I can't eat this. Yeah. Do you have honey? Yeah, I exactly. I can't eat this. Like, that's, uh, like, that's not how my mind works. <laughs> so, with, I understand how pineapple pizza like make sense to people but it also just means that there's something wrong with their brain there's just there's no way to argue like if you're like can Stop. i have get help yeah there's no there's no way to argue the fact that you obviously have some sort of deficiency you either have you either eat regular pizza or or hot dog have, crust pizza. Or, hot, oh, can I have sorry. a hot dog crust pizza with me? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god. There's there's no way around You have to have several chins for that. There like you have to just there has to you have like once you die, there's gonna be a case study on your brain. Without a doubt. They're going to be like, he had way more or way less chromosomes than the rest of us. <laughs> There's definitely something different. Not necessarily good or bad. Something different about right, it. Right, right. Um, oh, shit. Which, thinking about it now. I put the cigarette out. It's still on. I want some pizza now, man. I do too. Pizza sounds good, though. Can get some pizza? Get some pizza with the, the little cheeseburger crust. You ever seen that one? Where it was like little like rippable burgers you can <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah. Uh, I have seen that. You want to go try to find it? Let's do it. I was going to pound my absinthe, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave that here. Forget it later.